Hello, a wonderful good day to you, whatever time of the day that is. <laughs> um, my name is Birgit Fensenstadler, I'm happy to be back with you. And today we'll talk about raising your vibration. What do I mean by vibration? Your state of being, how you feel in general, like right this moment and over the course of your day and over the course of your week and months. And for some of us, when we hear, oh, raise your vibration, raise your state of being, um, just lift your mood, that sometimes has this ring of putting on something fake, but that's not at all what it's about. So when I say, how can we work on raising our vibration, that does not mean I deny if I don't feel great at a certain point in time. I want to invite you to fully acknowledge whatever is going on for you at any given point in time and we can check in with ourselves and very readily admit or feel into mm, for example there is some sadness inside of me or Oof, I don't feel quite at like my best energy level today but then there is a second step the second step afterwards is to say okay, now that I have allowed myself to fully feel that and be present with it, is that a state that I wish to prolong or is that something where I can just say, okay, this is present right now, I let this wave pass through me and then where do I want to go next from here? What is it that I wish to live into today? And one of my teachers, she likes to say, face it until we make it. So instead of faking it until we make it, which would be the version of putting on a fake smile and hoping it makes us feel better, let's faith it till we make it. And I'm not talking about religious faith, I'm not talking about having faith in ourselves. So having faith in ourselves means that we talk kindly to ourselves inside. So for example, when I wake up on a morning and I have that feeling of kind of low energy, like, hmm still kind of tired not that awake um, and then I can either hang out in that state and keep talking in that loop or I can think about well what could I do to elevate that state what gets me into a place where I feel really alive and one of the things for me is definitely movement another big one is are we hydrated enough <laughs> many of us run around with too little water in our bodies a lot of the time so when I have that feeling of low energy, first thing is, all right, take a deep breath. And then the second piece is drink some water. And the third piece is how can I move this body in a way that feels good right now? And sometimes that can be a very gentle movement, like going for a little walk or just stretching. And sometimes that is a more energetic movement, like dancing around wildly or going for a run or whatever it is. And you can find your version of whatever that is in general movement gets your energy flowing and elevates your state of being because it brings you back in your body so recap first piece fully acknowledge whatever is going on and be present with that for a moment allow it to be there second piece what is the intention of where do we want to go and then face that feel into it how can i move my energy into the state that I wish to be and sometimes it means slowing down for example if we're in an anxious state then it means oh taking a deep breath and incorporating some very gentle movement and maybe some some touch to calm our nervous system down our nervous system cannot differentiate if that touch comes from somebody else or if it comes from us it works either way <laughs> so if you give yourself a hug it feels good it does if you place a hand on your cheek it will calm your nervous system so it's a good tool to get back to when you feel anxious and what is that state of aliveness that you wish to live into what is it that you want to be faithing towards pay attention to that inner talk so you can get there and it takes quite a while to go from that passive commentator state of, oh, I've had better days, or mm, kind of hanging in there today, to 
actively encouraging ourselves of, oh, let's do this. We got this. All right, what's next? What's the next right thing that I can do? And sometimes it takes a little break to be able to pick ourselves back up again. We talk a lot about paradoxes. Human existence is very paradox in itself. We always have the striving for oneness and for expansion at the same time. And they can coincide in a beautiful way, yet sometimes they seem somewhat opposed to each other. And it's kind of the same with our activating energy versus relaxing energy. We need both and we need to feel into what we need in a given moment so uh, that we can either let ourselves be a little calmer or that we can activate and pick ourselves up. It's all a beautiful balance. And we know that balance is not a static thing. It's a dynamic thing. It changes with every moment. So let's go with the flow and allow ourselves to be our greatest cheerleaders. Let's allow ourselves to fully love ourselves, hug all the pieces back together, feel into what you want to do today, where you want to be today in your state of being, and what you wish to manifest and then feel what that is like as if it were already here. Can we feel the same gratitude for life that we now think we could feel, oh, if only I would already have done this, if only that would have already occurred, if only this virus was already completely taken care of and um, everybody was safe from it. What if we allowed ourselves to be completely okay with the state of things right now, right as they are, and then still thrive and go for our intentions, live into what we wish to see come true around us. That's it for today. Be well. Know that you are very loved. Reach out to me. Let me know if that resonates. Let me know if you will, what you would like me to talk about in the future. And find me on social media. Take a free breathing course with me. I have a little course on my homepage for five days where you can learn a couple of breathing techniques that help you energize when you need that pick-me-up and that help you calm down when you need that or to just focus. There's breathing techniques for all of those things. I would love to share them with you just for free. It's just my gift to you. And you can join me on Inside Timer for some live meditations this week or whichever week. And then... I hope to see you soon. Be well. Put some good energy out in the world. Pour some love out. Everybody needs a little more of it. I love you. Take care.